He served his country with millions only to die alone due to a virus. Today, the Romero family funeral home. Strangers came together to honor him. Chris Vanderveen tells the story with the help of Nine News photojournalist Chris Hansen. Anonymity befell a veteran in the days, weeks, and months leading up to this moment. Uh, all I have is date of birth, uh, date of death. His full name is Raymond Charles Roy. Raymond Roy. He was homeless, yes. The cause of death is just, is just COVID-19, so. A man so alone, no picture accompanied the memorial service held in his honor. Uh, my name is Paul uh, Acuna. I'm the general manager here at Romero Family Funeral Home. So I want to thank those who have come. Um, all I know is he was born in 1935, but I don't know where, city or state. I know that he passed away May 8th of this year. Not one person in this room knew him, not one. Good morning. Not that it mattered. I served in the Marine Corps from 65 to 69. What it means to be a Marine to me, I think we're a fraternity of brothers. Um, we love our country. I thank my other fellow Marines here in the room. Thank That's you. all I have to say. Thank you for thank you. Roy served during the time of the Korean War, a Marine. A corporal. What's your name? Leroy T. Gomez. Gomez. G O M E Z. Served two. I was just thinking of, of all of our homeless veterans. Just want them to know that, that we're out here for them. So you're welcome to come pay your respects to Mr. Roy. I was singing the Marine hymn to him. I wanted him to hear it one more time before he was buried. This program has helped bury homeless veterans for years. Roy was simply next on the list. Not that anyone here viewed him as a number, a statistic. No, today, even the most anonymous among us. And now he can be buried with pride and honor. Learned. No veteran need do this alone. I'm hoping he's looking down today and he smiles and says, you know what, these are my comrades honoring me today. Chris Vanderveen, 9 News. We would be remiss if we didn't mention the work of the Patriot Guard Riders and the Colorado Honor Bell Foundation, both which donated their time today.